what is the future of the world of books in Indonesia after the pandemic? Imagining the future of our book industry after this pandemic, whether we want it or not, we will need many characters like Liesl in the film, The Book Thief, taken from the novel by Marcus Jusak. For those who have never read the novel or seen the film, Liesl is a young girl who understands the world she is facing, the world during the Second World War, through her love of books. Liesl is secretly taught to read by her adoptive father and gains an appreciation for literature by the wife of the town's mayor as well as the Jewish man hidden by her parents. Liesl is able to transcend the bigotry that surrounds her through education, drawing personal strength and elevating those around her through her blossoming literacy. In terms of reading material, access to it, the situation of this pandemic we are experiencing is not as critical as what Liesl experienced. We still have the freedom to read anything and in various format, print, electronic, and audio. We are only restricted by our ability to visit the bookstores or libraries. Because of that, in this situation when we can't go anywhere, will we have a strong urge to read as Liesl? When we talk about Indonesia reading habits specifically, we need many Liesels as role models. And even more so right now, we can say that this time at home is the time to read books. However, books must compete with many entertainment platforms that can be accessed at home. All the different types of platforms try to grab our attention. That didn't exist during Liesel's time. From YouTube, social media, television news broadcasts that continually broadcast the latest news of the COVID-19, to the subscription film that, such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, and so on. The decline in sales has been a bitter pill to swallow since March of this year. Indonesian publishers have reported a decline of up to 80% in sales. One publisher complained, it's been made worse by the dollar going up in value. Meanwhile, the price of paper, printing materials, and other imports are all set to the dollar. In this session, we will look at the market insight of the Indone Indonesian publishing industry and discuss the future of this industry from the side of ICAPI as the country's publishers association and with the Gramedia Group the country's largest publishing and book retail company in the country. My name is Laura Prinsloo. I'm the chair of Tujublas Ribu Pulau Imaji Foundation, and I will lead this discussion. I hope this session will provide insights of the impact of the pandemic, what government initiatives are available to help the publishers, and where the industry is going. First, let me introduce our speakers. We have the president of Indonesian Publishers Association, Roshidayati Rosalina. Roshidayati Rosalina, or Ida, has 16 years of experience in the publishing industry. She was the president director of Peter Maja Rosdakarya and became the president commissioner of the company since 2019. Now, she is the president of Indonesian Pub Publishers Association, or ICAPI, and she has recently established her own publishing company named PT Makar Cipta Lestari. Our second speaker is the president director of Compass Gramedia Group, Mr. Wandi Brata. As part of his preparation to be a Catholic priest, Petrus Canisius Wandi Sandi. Juan Brata studied philosophy and got his BA from Driyarkaya Institute of Philosophy, Jakarta, Indonesia. And then his master is from Gregorian University, Rome, Italy in 1987. He studied theology at Weda Bhakti Pontifical Institute of Theology, Yogyakarta, Indonesia and graduated in 1990. In May 1991, two months before his ordination as Jesuit priest, 
He left the Society of Jesus and joined PT Gramedia Pustaka Utama, a general book publishers under Compass Gramedia Group, the leading company in media and book industry in Indonesia, as a non-fiction editor. In 2009, he was appointed as the executive director of PT Gramedia Pustaka Utama. In 2012, he was the deputy group director of Gramedia Group of Book Publishing Companies. And since 2014, he is the group director of Gramedia Group of Book Publishing Companies and English Language Training Centers. Good morning to both of you. Hello, apa kabar? Hello, Laura. Good morning. Hello, Laura. Morning. Thank you for joining us right now in the session on market insight on Indonesian publishing industry. Mr. Wandi, okay. are you able to tell us um, or present to us the situation of your uh, publishing group and also maybe data from the bookstore that holds various books from various publishers about the situation before and then during the pandemic right now? Okay, Laura, thank you for the opportunity to talk with you and to share our data. I have prepared uh, even a decade. Yeah? Uh, our data includes, uh, well, I will say a decade. Yeah? Uh, maybe you can present my uh, presentation materials. Okay, next slide. Next. Yeah, this is our proportion uh, of book and non-book in our stores. Yeah? We have now uh, 122 stores uh, all, uh, in all overall Indonesia, mainly of course in uh, Jakarta and uh, Java and big cities of the uh, islands. Yeah? The, uh, as you notice in my slide before 2010, uh, the proportion of books and uh, non-books was 40% uh, uh, non-books and 60% uh, for books. Yeah? And uh, uh, you notice that uh, every time uh, the percentage uh, was declining. Yeah? Uh, and it is an exception of this year because of the uh, COVID. Yeah? Uh, the proportion is 52% uh, of uh, non-books and 48% of our books. But this not a, uh, that is not our main, uh, what do you call it, uh, factor to be worried about it because as you know, uh, our stores not uh, diminishing the uh, proportion of books that uh, uh, access in these stores, but we enlarge our uh, marketing, our sales uh, space to accommodate uh, stationary uh, sport uh, material and apparatus also home appliance. So uh, the, the, the total sums of books that enter in store uh, are always growing. Uh, so this uh, proportion will, I hope, uh, will not make you uh, worry about it because, because we have another slide that will show our uh, book industry is still growing. Uh, maybe next uh, slide. Now this is our customer, uh, Gramedia customer. This data uh, is valid uh, now. And actually I presented this uh, uh, pie in Frankfurt Book Fair when we was uh, guest of honor in Frankfurt Book Fair. Our reader are 68% female uh, and only 32% male. Yeah? But in this five years, uh, there, there, there are plus minus uh, 5% uh, since uh, 2015, meaning that this basic number, 68 and 32%, um, we, 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 we can use as uh, the basis. Yeah? 
but there is um, what do you call uh, up and downs about five percent each year. Yeah? Uh, for instance, this year uh, the the male reader, the male customer is thirty uh, seven, yeah? and the female uh, sixty three. Yeah? Why? Because we have so many uh, non-fiction uh, bestseller that compensate to this uh, uh, proportion. Next slide. Yeah, there is a sale growth of printed books. Yeah, before 2010, we usually uh, enjoyed growth more than 30 percent, but in 2010 we enjoyed only. Uh, 28 percent and you notice in this uh, slide that uh, every year uh, there is a decline yeah? until 2017 uh, even minus uh, uh, 0 0.48 percent yeah? but that is not the it doesn't mean that uh, the book industry is declining the growth is still uh, happening, yeah? but the total sum of the percentage of the growth is uh, declining. Yeah? Of course, this uh, year is a special year because we have a COVID uh, pandemic and uh, our performance until uh, this mid-September uh, only uh, 55%. Uh, it means that we have um, uh, growth of minus 44 percent but this is the data of this mid uh, month so I hope that the outlook will be maybe about 65 uh, to 70 percent uh, performance compared to the uh, previous year yeah. next now well, this is the, the graphic to show the uh, the same data yeah you notice that in 2017, uh, we, uh, well, minus uh, half percent, eh? but that there was a, re a good rebound in uh, 2018 and 2019. Eh? Okay, next. That is the graphics of the uh, sales growth. So every year we are growing. Yeah? So, uh, there is still growth, except in the 2017. Yeah? And of course, uh, in the 2020, this is the uh, F -im impact of the uh, pandemics. Yeah? I hope that the outlook will be better than this, uh, maybe about 65 to 70 percent. That means there will be uh, about 30 percent declining compared uh, to the previous year. Next. That is the sales of the, uh, of the printed books uh, during this pandemic. Yeah? We use uh, the uh, Average sales, average monthly sales of the previous year as the baseline. Yeah? So you uh, see the uh, graphics, yeah? the the up downs of this uh, sales monthly. Yeah? Uh, March and April, uh, well, it is the very severe uh, uh, situation because this was uh, our uh, first period of uh, uh, grand social limitation. Eh? And then we have uh, June and July, there was a loosening of the social limitation, so the sales uh, increase eh? but then uh, our governor uh, declared that this, uh, September will be and is now running uh, the second period of the social uh, limitation and our sales uh, is reflected in this slide. Eh? I hope next year will be better. Eh? 
Next. So this is the market share of the uh, of Gramedia compared to non Gramedia. That's uh, that uh, the, the data. Uh, okay, I, I will tell you, Lauren. That uh, I can only tell you about the Indonesian situation as far as our store can capture the data of uh, our book industry. There are so many publishers that sell uh, the books via our store and the data, there is the data. So I cannot tell about the Indonesian situation overall. I can only tell you about the situation as reflected by our data uh, that we gain from our book chain of bookstores. Huh? So even the uh, market share, it, it is only valid uh, in our bookstore. Yeah? Of course, our, book, uh, our uh, market share is uh, increasing in this year because um, I don't know why, but um, there are also, uh, what do you call it, uh, declining productivity uh, uh, in our society in Indonesia. And we receive, I mean, our chain of store receives uh, less than before uh, to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, printed book that will be uh, uh, sold in our stores. Yeah. Okay, maybe next slide. So that is the e-books situation. Yeah. From 2015 uh, to this year, there is always a, of a good growth. Yeah? Uh, this year, our growth, that is nationally, yeah? uh, 40% uh, compared to the previous year. Yeah? And the next slide will soon. Okay, next slide. The, this slide saw a very um, optimistic situation about the uh, online sales growth of print textbook. Uh, there are 261% compared uh, to the previous year, uh, of course, via Gramedia.com, but we have two uh, triggers, that is Gramedia Go, a device, uh, a mobile device, and that if you go to a bookstore and you cannot find uh, the title that you want, you can ask the uh, staff in the bookstore to use the Gramedia Go. You will pay in the uh, uh, store, but the book will be sent to you to your address. Huh? And the second driver is a Gramedia reseller. That is also an application. And... Uh, uh, what do you got? Well, like a mobile store, huh? everyone that uh, has the license to do that via his or her uh, mobile phone will sell our books huh? and they got the commission huh? up to 30%. Huh? Okay, next slide. So, in this uh, situation, uh, we also transform uh, ourselves, uh, our vision about ourselves as publishing house uh, also changed. Uh. We now perceive ourselves as IP managers, uh, IP developers, and IP enhancer, meaning that whatever IP uh, trusted to, our, to, to us, uh, we manage it. We develop it, for instance, uh, from books or printed book to ebook to audio book, even some uh, films we do, uh, we make uh, based on our books. Uh. So the, the, the product will, will be a multi format product uh, and the outlet will be multi channel. Offline, uh, online, uh, and we uh, cooperate with so many dot com to uh, deliver our products. Uh. We also change our criterion, our criteria of publication. Usually, we think about two uh, uh, points, uh, important point: quality 
meaning the IP, the contents, and how the content was presented, uh, and the sellability of this uh, IP. Uh. So if the high quality and uh, high uh, sellability we will, of course, uh, publish. And, but now, since we prioritize in the ebooks, uh, so uh, less uh, printed books, uh, so the uh, publishing cost is uh, diminishing. Uh, there are, uh, we can reduce the cost production with uh, mainly published uh, ebook version or audio version. Uh, no uh, paper, no printing processes. Yeah? So whatever uh, uh, manuscript offered to us, if we perceive as a good one, we certainly will publish. Even uh, the sellability will low. Yeah? Okay, next uh, slide. So that is our uh, strategy to handle the situation. Yeah? From production side, we prioritize uh, e-books, audio book, video, limited printings, uh, and minimizing inventory. Also, uh, give uh, uh, print-on-demand services. Yeah? In marketing, uh, we strengthening of all the online uh, services and interstore products transfer. I mean this, interstore products transfer. We have, uh, because we have Gramedia, Gramedia Go and Gramedia Reseller, everyone can uh, buy from everywhere. Yeah? And the store, uh, the store will send to the address that is uh, uh, provided by the customer, yeah? the, the reader. Yeah? So, uh, if one store uh, have no uh, inventory, another store will transfer to that store. Uh? Not only to that store, also to the uh, uh, customer directly. Uh? And of course, the last one, we will focus on the community-based marketing and fan-based marketing, meaning that uh, we will mobilize the fan base of the uh, writers. Uh, uh, even we uh, do the pre-order with them. Uh, so if you are a writer, for instance, Laura, uh, before we publish uh, your books, we will, uh, uh, we will do a soft launch to gather the pre-order of your books. So we will have uh, a certain number that will be printed and uh, at that number we will uh, add it uh, with uh, a certain sums to be uh, distributed to the uh, stores. Yeah. Okay, next. That is my presentation is over. Uh, if there is a question and answer, I will be open to that. Thank you, Laura. Terima kasih, Pak Wandi, Mr. Wandi. Um, that was very inspiring. Considering that in June or in July, uh, the sales of printed books almost reached to uh, the figure before the pandemic. And yeah. um, I have a couple of questions. Uh, one is um, you, you mentioned that uh, you are emphasizing on uh, IP. Would you uh, rec uh, would you think that um, IP management and licensing is the future of the publishing industry? We think so, Laura. So uh, everything will be online. Everything will be uh, virtual. So we enter in this uh, business. Uh, from that, we create a new institution in our Compass Gramedia group to accommodate these uh, enterprises and uh, to make films, uh, to make uh, audio, video, uh, animation, even games. Yeah? Okay, and uh, about your marketing strategies, you've developed uh, new initiatives. Would, 
Do you be doing this even when uh, the situation or uh, goes back to normal when the pandemic is over? Off, o- over, would you be continuing your uh, marketing new marketing strategies? Yes, yes, Laura. Um, the, 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 the device that we provide for Ransom for Reseller and Gramedia Go, uh, even we added it, eh? we added them with a Dropbox that's automat- automatically. Uh, so, if you go to Lipo Karawati Gramedia, eh? there, there is a Dropbox there. Eh? You can put in the Dropbox whatever you buy, books, non books. And automatically they will record. There is a screen that uh, the title and the title uh, item uh, is displayed and the prices. And then you pay uh, with uh, e-money and you put the uh, all the material that you put in the Dropbox and you go just go out without uh, what the interaction with our staff. Huh? Wow, that's very inspiring. <laughs> We have only one, of course. This is a trial. Eh? We will uh, multiply within a few months uh, uh, in advance. Eh? Also, of course, next uh, year. Eh? But it is very costly because everything will be uh, coated. Eh? Because if there is a team, then uh, they just put uh, take the books and uh, go out there will be a, a signal that there is a, a moving product with it's not valid or not paid. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you for sharing, Mr. Wandi. I'm going to uh, Mrs. Roshidayati Rosalina, President of the Indonesian Publishers Association. Hello, Mrs. Ida. Hello, Laura. Um, from Ikapi side, uh, you would probably know information uh, about, you know, your members, uh, which are Indonesian publishers. Are you able to share with us a uh, similar question to what I just asked with uh, Mr. Wandi? The situation right now, uh, before and during the pandemic, uh, and where is our industry going uh, after this pandemic is over? Okay, thanks. I will. Um, I would like to uh, share the result of survey uh, that have been conducted by ICAPI recently uh, about book publishing industry in Indonesia. Currently in Indonesia, there are around 2,000 large and small publishing companies spread across all major islands in Indonesia. The majority are in Java and Bali with approximately 88%, 7% in Sumatra, while 2% are in Kalimantan and Sulawesi and Papua, respectively. The majority of publishing houses, or around 45%, publishes more than one genre, while other publishers prefer more specialized genres, such as uh, academic books, religious books, educational books, and children books. Of the total number of publishers in Indonesia, uh, 1,821 are members of the Indonesian Publishers Association, or ICAPI. The rest are non-member or join in another publishers association. Uh, Their non-membership is indicated by the absence of statement as a member of ICAPI on their uh, prelim book pages. Next slide, please. Yeah. yeah. Referring to the data of ICAPI, members uh, in 2015, there are, sorry, uh, can you go back the, the, the slide? Yeah, thank you. Referring to the data, uh, the data of ICAPI members in 2015, there is a very significant increase of memberships from 1,339 in 2015 to 1,821 in 2019. This means there are 482 new memberships in a period of four years. The majority of this number are from Java, yeah. like uh, East Java, West Java, 
Jakarta, and Central Java. And outside Java shows the rapid growth of publishing houses spread in North Sumatra, South Sulawesi, Bali, and West Sumatra. Next slide, please. Based on the survey, out of uh, 1821 ICAP members, there are 800 publishers who are still active publishing new books in 2019, with a balanced proportion between publishers who were members before 2015 and those who were members after 2015. A total of 240 publishers are concentrated on selling their books from the previous years or publishing very selective new titles. Unfortunately, we noted that there are more than 700 members who have not actively published books anymore or have moved to other business fields, even though they are still registered as members of ICAPI. Inactive members are mostly based in Jakarta, reaching nearly 250 publishers. This is followed by West Java, Central Java, and East Java. In general, Publishers outside Java are still in the active members category because they are mostly publishers incorporated with university and higher education institutions who uh, regularly publish books by their teaching staff. Next slide, please. In the last five years, there, are, there has been social and economic instability that has affected many business sectors in Indonesia. Even before COVID-19 pandemic occurred, there has been a decreasing 10 to 15 num uh, 15% number of books printed since the last three years. The decrease is experienced by nearly 75% uh, of publishers, especially publishers of school books, college textbooks, and general reference books. The only books that tend to be in constant development are children's books and books on religious theme. School books have also experienced a significant decline from around 38 million copies in 2015 to only 35 million by the end of 2019. This decline occurred due to the merging of teaching materials in basic education from unit to thematic, thereby reducing the number of book titles and decreasing book purchases by public schools at private publishers due to the uh, availability of electronic books provided by the government. Next slide, please. The estimated number of book circulation published uh, in 2015 is around 102 million copies. This number uh, dropped dramatically uh, in 2019 to only set, uh, Sorry, 94 million copies. Based on data from Gramedia bookstores, non-Gramedia, and direct sales, there has been a crucial decline of 8 million copies in four years, and around 3 million of them are school textbooks. The rest, this deduction comes from uh, academic textbooks, general reference books, and other types of books. Of the 94 million copies printed in 2019, uh, the average market absorbed in 2019 is only 65%. This means that it takes at least more than one year for a book title with an average circulation of 3,000 copies to be sold out. The decline in uh, sales of general and reference book was largely due to the availability of digital information. Research conducted by ICAPI through an online survey of students from 20 universities in Jakarta and Bandung showed that book ownership among students is very low. Only about 15% uh, percent of the respondents took the initiative to buy textbooks or references as study materials. The rest borrow from libraries or search for information from uh, the internet. However, despite uh, the decline in circulation, money value tended to be stable due to the increase of 5% to 10% of the average book price per year. This information indicated that even though there is an increase in ICAPI memberships, this augmentation is not followed by a growth in 
the publisher sales turnover as a result of various things that are related to one another as described below, uh, before. Regarding digital books, the data shows a significant, significant increase in the number of publishers starting to move towards digital books products from around 20% in 2015 to nearly 40% in 2020. Digital books here are still in PDF format. Only textbook publisher and foreign language reference books that have multi-platform uh, performance, namely a combination of text, audio, video, and external access to the YouTube platforms. The remaining 60% still hold on with conventional book products. Although there has been an increasing a number of publishers who have provided digital formats for dead books. In terms of sales turnover, the contribution of digital books to book sales has not shown a significant number. The survey say uh, that the contribution uh, of this type of digital product only plays an average of 12% uh, of the total sales. The reason is mainly due to the limited uh, human resources that can navigate the sales of digital books and also because most consumers are not familiar with this type of product. Concerning uh, the trend of books that readers are interested in, it shows that there is no prominent trend in one particular genre. For example, readers' interest is strongly influenced by the author's profile of religious theme books. Meanwhile, sales of books on religious uh, classics tend to be stable. Likewise, uh, with the fiction genre, the sale of fiction books is highly dependent on the figure of, figure, uh, figure of the author and the on endorsement of reputable writers. However, when viewed in terms of the number of copies sold outside of school textbooks, children's books are the type of book that sold the most compared to other books. Next. Next. Yeah. Regarding the book price in Indonesia, the survey result shows that the majority of publishers sell college books, reference books, and religious books ranging be uh, between uh, uh, 75,000 rupiahs to 100,000 rupiahs. Five to uh, seven US dollar with an average discount of up to 35% for distribution through bookstores and campuses. Uh, meanwhile, st school textbooks range from uh, 50,000 uh, up to 75,000 rupiah or uh, four to five uh, US dollar with the same average discount. Fiction books do not have a uniform pricing pattern. Often the number of pages is used as reference, but Prices can also be determined based on the author's reputation uh, and the popularity of the team. During the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, next, next slide, please. There was a, yeah, next slide. There was a significant decrease uh, in publishers' revenues. The majority of publishers experience a decline of nearly 60% as the same period as before COVID-19. The situation raises concerns that they will not fulfill their sales target by the end of the 2020. Uh, this concern is especially felt by publishers who have already published many titles in January 2020. As a result, uh, publishers begin uh, to limit their printed titles and to concentrate on the sale of books that are still, uh, still circulating on the market. This COVID-19 condition also requires publishers to start seriously transforming into digital spectrum. The market under the government education program is huge, considering the number of students in Indonesia, which reaches tens of millions. The government has prepared guidelines for publishers for electronic and digital books that will be used in school. This is of course requires publishers to immediately take proactive steps to cite the uh, opportunity. Next slide, please. Yeah. ICAPI has taken proactive steps to help publishers to deal with this unprecedented situation. 
collaboration with the government is strengthened in order to encourage programs that can empower publishers under ICAP uh, membership. ICAP also runs a digital exhibition so that books from publishers can still be purchased by the public through the marketplace. And last but not least, uh, ICAPI continues to convey the hope of publishers so the book purchase projects by the government can continue and hopefully the publishers will na navigate their way in the current market and any the uncertainty of the pandemic. Uh, I think this is at the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Ida, for your presentation. Um, I am curious uh, to know, is there any government uh, support or uh, help towards Indonesian publishers to cope during these tough times? Yes, uh, uh, there's a lot uh, uh, that uh, has been done by uh, the government. Uh, especially from the Ministry of um, uh, Tourism and Creative Economy. They help uh, us the, uh, um, um, and they collaborate with us, with ICAPI, I mean, uh, in um, uh, some program like uh, Nulis Dari Rumah, yeah, right, right from home, uh, to motivate uh, writers to, to write uh, about pandemic and then uh, about uh, uh, something else. And then uh, they also uh, collaborate with us uh, to sell a book from publisher uh, uh, to the consumers through marketplace. Uh, they, they, they collaborate us with uh, four marketplaces, uh, prominent marketplaces, yeah? the major marketplaces like uh, uh, Tokopedia, uh, Bukalapak, Lazada, and also uh, Blibli uh, in a program named uh, Bli Buku Loka by uh, Local Books. Yeah. And then now uh, they help us also, they supported us, uh, they supported us uh, in um, uh, our uh, uh, book fair, in Indonesia International Book Fair. They um, they help us uh, to because the uh, this year uh, IIBF will be a, a virtual edu edition. So they help us to um, um, to I mean to to enhance the virtual uh, book fair uh, to three dimension to dimension uh, virtual book fair. Uh, the the platform we built by uh, ourselves by ICAPI, but they, uh, they, uh, they, I mean, they, they, they help us to make uh, visitors uh, stay uh, hopefully longer with uh, uh, the appearance of the virtual book fair in a three dimensional uh, uh, form. Uh, Okay, thank you. Um, I heard that you just started your uh, a new publishing company uh, during this pandemic. Congratulations. Thank you. So it gives us um, the confidence that as a president of the Publishers Association, you yourself is hopeful that the industry will never die and will continue to prosper. Um, are you able to tell us if you are, agree with what Pat Wan, Mr. Wandi said before, that IP management and licensing is the future of our publishing industry? Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, IP management and licensing, yeah. If we, uh, if we talk about um, uh, go international, yeah, uh, it, uh, that's the most important thing. But if we talk locally, because yeah, our, our, our country is big, uh, we have a lot of uh, population, we have a lot of market, uh, a big market. I think we, we should focus uh, on how uh, uh, encourage publisher uh, in Indonesia to to learn to uh, go digital. Because now uh, in the pandemic, uh, as I told before, the marketplace uh, uh, and e-commerce uh, they. They are uh, they are now very important 
because of the lockdown, the limitation, uh, social limitation. So they are uh, very powerful. So, uh, but uh, in the other side, the publisher, uh, not not many publisher um, can um, uh, familiar with this. Uh, uh, marketplace or e-commerce. So uh, I think the important thing uh, in uh, the local, for local publisher, uh, I think uh, they should uh, learn, they should learn fast how to, uh, how to uh, familiar with this uh, uh, digital era uh, through uh, knowing how to sell in marketplace, in e-commerce, uh, and how to um, um, uh, change their books to uh, ebook and or uh, even audio book. I think uh, that's uh, only the important things that uh, will um, shape our future in publishing. That is inspiring as well because now we, uh, me myself as well as a publisher, is uh, very hopeful. A lot of changes need to be made to cope with the situation, but I think these changes are probably going to be everlasting. I would like to thank you both speakers for the opportunity to share about uh, the publishing industry, both from uh, Indonesia as a country and also from the biggest chain of bookstores in Indonesia. Thank you, Mr. Wandi, uh, Mrs. Ida for sharing. Let me close with this. To survive during the period of this pandemic, we cannot just rely on our own strength. We need to work together, learn from each other, and hopefully by doing this, it will enable us not just survive, but also equip us with the ability to continue in the post-pandemic world. And the adaptations or changes that we've made will only make us stronger to face any new challenges in the future. As publishers, this pandemic reminded us again why we first joined this industry. It's only because of our love for books. In The Book Thief, the Jewish man hidden by Liesel's family gives her a present, a diary, and tells her, in my religion, we're taught that every living thing, every leaf, every bird, is only alive because it contains the secret word for life. That's the only difference between us and a lump of clay. A word. Words are life. Again, a big thank you to Mr. Wendy Brata and Mrs. Roshidayati for your time and contribution to the session that I believe will not just give us insights of what the market here is like, but can inspire fellow publishers in other part of the world. My name is Laura Prinsloo. Thank you, Frankfurt Book Fair, for the opportunity to share about Indonesia and see you hopefully next year physically. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>